Boys and girls, it's time to gather around because today we're going to talk about cows. That's right, cows. Now, who doesn't remember making the good old moo sound growing up? One of our favorite animal sounds for sure. But I want to share a few other things with you that maybe you don't know about cows. For instance, they can smell things really far away, like up to six miles away. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? And did you know they can also see really good? They can see 330 degrees around them, so it makes it really hard to sneak up on a cow. And did you know that cows are very social too? That means they are very happy sometimes, and at other times they're very sad, and they don't like to be alone, a lot like people. And did you also know that cows are super smart? They can not only communicate with the good old moo that we know about, but they can also use their face to communicate and their body. And they can use that memory to remember faces and where food is at, and most importantly, where they put their babies at so they don't forget them. I tell you what, cows are pretty smart. But one of my favorite things about cows is their stomach. That's right, their stomach. Their stomach can hold up to 50 gallons of food. That's more than your bathtub at home. And they eat up to 40 pounds of food a day. And they have four different compartments in their stomach. And as they chew that food and swallow it, later on in the day, they lay down and they can bring that same food back up and enjoy it again. Now, it sounds pretty gross, but cows like it. But ultimately, when I was thinking about all these things about cows, I couldn't help but think about the Word of God. So if you have your Bibles today, would you open them to Joshua 1, verse 8. And as we read it, remember, as always, this is the Word of God. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Boys and girls, did you see what the Word of God said? God's Word said that we're to meditate upon the Word day and night. So the first step is to read the Bible each and every day. And as we read it, we will then remember it or meditate upon it throughout the day and even into the night. So just like those cows like to chew the cud, what they're actually doing is chewing on food that they ate earlier in the day and they're bringing it up from that big old stomach and enjoying it again, we want to meditate and remember some of the verses we read earlier in the day so that we can enjoy them again. And why do we do this? So that we can be careful to do all that's written in God's word and obey it. So boys and girls, I hope you have fun chewing the cud and memorizing and meditating upon the word of God. And maybe the next time you see a cow, may they challenge you to stay in the word of God so you can be more and more like Jesus Christ. So until next time, bye-bye.